Hello fellow hackers, in this video I'll explain how to make your cheat engine undetectable by easy anti-cheat. So the problem is pretty clear, our driver gets detected. So let's start from where we left off. I'll close cheat engine. Also, I need to unload dri driver. And open this project. So, what's important is that you will choose release without signature and platform x64 and at this point driver should be compiled successfully so what do we need to do so in order for this method to work we need to use cheat engine version 7.3 and I'm not sure about earlier versions. The 7.3 version is fairly new, so maybe this method works only for 7.3, but you can figure it out yourself. Uh, all right. We have driver files. What we want to do is basically rename this tar target. So to be consequent, uh, let's open project properties and target name. Would be this one because maybe I'm not very creative with naming. All right, whatever. Let's rename this file and now it's open. So while this file is open, press Ctrl H, so you can replace all occurrences uh, and occurrence is BBK64. And uh, replace it with your name, with driver. In my case, this is this one. So as you can see, there is no more occurrences of DBK64. And uh, there is just manufacturer name, cheat engine. But uh, that's all right. Well, let it be this one. It doesn't matter at all. Rebuild. And it's compiled. And what we have here is this in file and sys file and ser file. So the driver has a different name now. And uh, cheat engine won't load this driver by default. Yes, and by the way, we need to delete these files just in case. And uh, now yes we we need to add one more file. I'll leave a link to this file in the description to example of this file. So create a new text document, name it driver sixty four dot dead uh, 
and paste this and we replace it with the name of your driver and save all right yes and by the way i improved my uh, run script uh, like this i'll li leave link in the description too so it now can be uh, started just by cl clicking it's not necessary to run it from command line so run it as administrator and as you can see dbk64 is loaded this is now our driver so i think we can close this and run some easy attitude protected game and as you can see driver wasn't detected yes and by the way it works so i think that's all it was fairly short video uh, i uh, spent a lot of time by figuring out uh, that this way would work and i don't think uh, well i'll figure out if it works for uh, earlier versions of dbk64 as far as i remember it didn't work because i needed to modify uh, source code a little bit but nevertheless this method works and it, uh, it's not necessary to do anything else for now so yeah i guess that's it thank you for watching